What happened to your clothes? Here. Don't be afraid. What happened? Were you raped? I'll call the police. Hey, I know. You're an I.I., an illegal immigrant. Poor girl. Look at you. You're soaking wet. You must have swum across the Pearl River. I... I... Okay, no cops. I won't call the cops. Uh, yeah. 
You've come all the way here. I shouldn't call the cops and have you sent back to China. No, I can't do that. I won't. Oh yes, I forgot. You're all wet. Dry yourself. Don't be afraid, I won't hurt you. Oh, your forehead's burning. Have you got a fever? Do you have relatives here? No? Uh, well, I guess... I can put you up for a few days until you feel better. You can then decide what to do, okay? Okay? Come on. Ah. Come on. Let me help you. from a poisonous spider who just killed her mate. Michael, it's Saturday. Are you thinking of a buffet? <laughs> You're amazing. How do you know? Six cents. Right. So maybe you can tell me how you're progressing with a new insecticide, Inakil. <laughs> Don't worry. We're nearly there. If this new culture is successful, we'll stand to make a lot of money. I knew you wouldn't let me down. But the finance company has just called again and pushed me. I can't delay them anymore. Just leave it to me. I'm confident about it. By the way, if we can pull this off, how will you reward me? You can have anything you want. Good. It's a deal. Now don't you forget what you've said. <laughs> Come on. I booked a buffet for this evening. Really? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. 
Chicky, 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 chicky. Come on, chicky, chicky, chicky. Don't eat so fast. Huh? You'll get a stomachache. There. Come on. Get your food. No need to fight. Huh? Ah. Ah. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, that's right. Ten, including you. Okay, get down. Now, eat slowly. Huh? Don't get upset. I know you're thirsty. Yeah. Huh. Wow. You must have been listening. Well, thanks a lot. Excuse me. Oh no! I forgot the breakfast! Oh my, so is that the latest fashion? You know what, that used to belong to my wife. She's very conservative. You must be hungry. Come and have some kanji now. It's my special. Go ahead. Come on, you mustn't be shy. Go on. You don't want it? All right, I'll have it. Ha! Uh. Listen, tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll take you to my bar and take a look. You know, the place where I found you. Mm, this is really good. Mm. What are you eating? And in international news, the Liberian government has released four foreign journalists into cases of espionage. Britain confirmed the four had been freed and would leave the country yesterday. Liberian President Trump Taylor had earlier said that the journalists, who had been working on a program for British television at CNN, would definitely be released. They stated, we are not expelling the journalists, but they are free to leave whenever they want. The four were arrested on suspicion of collecting sensitive information. Mr. Taylor said this is not a pardon on the part of the government, arrested adding that he hoped for an apology from CNN. Information. Mr. Taylor said this is not a pardon on the part of the government, adding that he Thanks. Hi, Charles. Got some new plants? Long time no see. Well, I thought you needed a break after Susie's funeral. So how's my cousin doing these days, huh? <laughs> Tell me, you got a new girl? What? A new waitress. Uh, well, she's a friend. She just drops in to help out sometimes. Come on. Look at this place. I never see any customers here. You don't need help. Listen. I think you should mortgage this place. I'm moving to another business, huh? What? No, I can't. This bar was Susie's idea. Even if it loses money, I gotta keep it going. I know you made tons of money before, so I guess losing a few hundred thousand is nothing to you. By the way, I started a new business researching and producing insecticides. I've also got a distributorship for animal flea wash. That's good. I'm happy for you, and this will hopefully keep you off the streets. Come on. I'm not what I used to be. Listen, my company is researching a new drug. When that eventually gets on the market, I can make it easy, like you, filling with plants and playing golf every day. <laughs> hey.
Hey, I brought a proposal to show you. And right now, all I need is some capital. Here, look. Huh? Get rid of that, now! Are you all right? Huh? You okay? Layla! Bring me the pills. They're in the drawer. Go on. Wait, do you need a doctor? It's okay. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I need to lie down. Can you help me, Leela? You can take a rest. We'll talk later. <sighs> the European Cup. Great. <laughs> I'll get you something to eat from the kitchen. Bring some beers and peanuts. Thanks. Shoot! Shoot! Yeah, fantastic! Uh, I didn't mean those. What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, really. you may be cold, so I brought you a blanket. Mm. Oh. I'll get you something to eat. I'm not hungry. Well, how about some beers? I've finished them. Uh, let's watch TV. It's 4 a.m. I can't take advantage of you. I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I do like you. I really do. You're a great girl, and you're pretty. You're every man's dream. Uh, it's just that uh, I'm impotent. I'm sorry. Really, I'm no use to you. You should find another man.
Let me tell you a little story. I wasn't like this before. After I took over my late father's business, I kept expanding it. The business was growing rapidly. And I was spending less and less time with my wife. And yet she never complained. So whenever I could, I would come to this holiday house with her just to spend some quality time. Just the two of us. She wanted me to retire early and live the rest of our lives in this house, just gardening and keeping animals. One weekend, I had arranged to come here with my wife. But that day I was busy. So I told her to come here first. I had to entertain a customer that night, and we had a few drinks. I was a little drunk. Uh, I'm not drunk. Uh, uh, I'm All right, drive carefully. <laughs> See ya. for you everywhere, you naughty girl. Since then, I have a mental block. I can't get it up. Maybe because I blame myself for my wife's death. This is God's punishment on me. Now I have a heart problem. I can't take stress. That's why I moved in here. It's a bit too quiet. But I feel in a way I've fulfilled my wife's wish. Don't feel sorry for me. There's no point. That'll only make it worse for me. I'm an optimist. I'll get over this. However, you know it's not every day a man meets a pretty thing like you. It's natural that I feel tempted. You understand? Hmm? What are you saying? <laughs> really? really, believe me. You should seriously consider what I just told you. Mr. Chan, if you invest with us, I can guarantee you'll double your money in six months. It sounds interesting, but I'll have to think it over. Excuse me, I need a shower. See you. I don't think he has the money. Come on, you must have patience. Take it easy, okay? I'd be very patient, but time's running out. The loan shark called me. They want their money, do you understand? I don't want trouble with them. <sighs> Michael, I've got a feeling. Very soon, you'll get hold of a lot of money. But this money... Hey, you're amazing. Charles! Charles! What a small world. Here we meet again, huh? Unfortunately. <laughs> Let me introduce you. My partner, Grace. My cousin, Charles. Do you remember? Oh, nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. Uh, who's she? Oh, she's Lila. My cousin, Grace. Liar! So she lies all the time. Oh, stop teasing her. Be nice to her. Oh, hey, I was just joking around, that's all. Hi, I'm Grace. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, she's very shy. <laughs> oh, that's, that's okay. Hey, shall we go get a drink? Uh, okay. Let's go. Come on. So, how have you been? Are you keeping healthy? Yeah, some exercise would do me good. I'm getting stiff. That's right. People are similar to machines. They need regular maintenance. So, we should play golf more often, huh? Yeah, sure. But I thought you were always busy. Since you mention it, I've been working my ass off on this office. You know, the proposal that I showed you. It's been killing me. Fortunately, I have Grace. She's very capable. She's in charge of the research program. 
Grace, why don't you tell Charles what you do? <laughs> okay. All living things are made up of cells. There's a nuclei on every cell, also commonly known as DNA. Apart from the nuclei, there's the protein which has its own DNA. Its function is to provide energy. It also controls the behavioral patterns of living things. Put simply, if we transfer the protein from A to B, then B will inherit the behavioral characteristics of A. Wow, if that's true, then maybe one day we'll all be able to fly like birds. <laughs> Not really, because the protein only controls the behavioral pattern. It can't change the physical features. Without wings, humans can't fly. I studied agriculture, so I do know about plants. But I have no idea about this DNA thing you're talking about. It, can you put it more simply? Okay, I'll put it in another way. If we can change the behavioral patterns of pests to get them to kill each other, then we won't need pesticides anymore. This is greatly beneficial to us. It'll greatly reduce pollution. Pests will become extinct in the end. Oh, I'm sorry, miss. Sorry. Here. If we can change the behavioral patterns of pests to get them to kill each other, then we won't need pesticides anymore. It'll greatly reduce pollution. Pests will become extinct in the end. Lila? Yeah, sure. I've got to go. See you. Hey, I got a car. I'll drive you. That's okay. See you. My car's outside. What's Grace doing? Why is she taking so long? Hey, hey, Charles. Wait. Look, my car's just here. Come on, I'll take you, all right? Yeah. Michael, wait for me. Grace, what took you so long? Well, Mr. Chan's cat is sick, so I thought I'd take a look at it. Oh, careful. Charles is allergic to cats. Take I'm it away. I'm sorry. Thanks, Michael, but uh, we'll take a cap. Let's go. Hey, we can put the cat in the back. It, it, Charles, wait. Hey, Lila is a strange character. I have a feeling there's more to her than meets the eye. Yeah, terrific figure. Oh, dear, I don't mean that. I, you know. Uh, just get in the car, Doctor. get a man. It's late. Do you know what time it is? Maybe tomorrow. I go to sleep. It's very slippery. You say there's a secret chamber here? Hey, 
Just what are you trying to show us? Last time we added a chemical toxin DDTA into the flamethrower. The idea was to stop living organisms feeding on the dead rats, but that doesn't really solve our problems. And the toxin is also bad for the environment. Hey, this place stinks. I'll wait for you outside, all right? Lila, are you okay? Don't you feel well? Lila, are you okay? I'm fine. Just a stomach ache. Would you like a doctor? No, I'm okay. September 3rd, I discovered the sticky substance in the drainage designated for biological studies is the same as the one in the ladies' toilet, the golf club. After running some tests, I've come to the conclusion that it is not human in origin. It's impossible! Where the hell is she? She shouldn't be out so late. She's still a stranger in Hong Kong. I hope the cops haven't picked her up. She said she needs it. Man, she can't be that horny. 
This may be the first ad ever targeted at cats. <laughs> It's ridiculous! Come in. Yeah. You're lucky that I had to get up for a week. So I heard the doorbell. Sometimes it's hard to get back to sleep if you get woken up. Also, you want to stay up late? You'd better sleep out. Charles, I... Hey! Look at me, I forgot to turn that TV off. Forget it now, we'll talk tomorrow. Come on, smile. Don't look so sad, okay? That's better. Go to sleep. September 28th, I injected the poisonous spider cells into other animals. This test has come to prove that the transplant of cells can change another species' character. And after absorbing blood from the other species, the cells in the animal will rapidly split and multiply, causing the body to finally explode. Michael! Uh. This is Michael. I'm not in, so please leave a message. I know you're there. It's no use avoiding me. You better pay up or you'll end up floating in the river. Please, give me a break. I've been calling you, and did you answer my calls? I figure you're playing games with me. I'm not. Just tell me. Will you pay up or not, Mike? I'll pay. Just listen. I'm getting some money soon. You'll at least get your interest, all right? Look, let me give you some advice. Guys like you should never borrow money. And quit gambling. Now listen. I'll clear out your office tomorrow. And it'll be your apartment next. Uh, no, Hank, please, don't. Give me some time, will you? If you'd answered my calls, this wouldn't have happened. I don't want this either, because it cost me time and money, too. I promise. I'll pay. Right, you heard him. He said he'd pay. But he's had a few drinks today, so he may forget later. So make sure you remind him, huh? Let's go. Michael? 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 Michael?
Hey, you're back. Gee, did you get in a fight? Oh dear, you're bleeding. Uh, it's okay. I'll get something to fix uh, it. No, it's okay. Never mind. Uh, uh, Why were you beaten up? Uh, gambling. What else? Why am I so unlucky? I try to delay paying the loan shark. They really stuck it to you. Do you want to see a doctor? Uh, leave it. It'll be fine. Forget it. Michael, I have good news for you. The cell transplant was successful. And I've managed to restructure the DNA. Really? What's this? I thought you'd be thrilled to hear it. Uh, I have nothing to be happy about. If the formula works, that means we can patent the formula. We can get funding. The company will grow fast and we'll be famous. Hey, forget it, Grace. I'll be dead long before that. Do you know how much it costs to patent a product? Not to mention a production line and promotions. I suggest you come up with a formula that can turn water into money. Uh, hey, now can I have some water, please? Hey. I'm sorry. I've been in a rut lately. Just forget what I said. Michael, do you remember that I said you'd get hold of a lot of money? But I have a feeling that money will bring you trouble. I just hope your feeling is right. If I had money, I could at least get the loan shark off my back. Nothing could be worse than fearing for your life all the time, you know. I'd even kill for that money if I had to. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Have you been together with Lila? What? What's this? Come on, you're jealous. Honestly, I don't even like her. I'm glad. Maybe I'm too sensitive. I have a feeling she's not human. Huh? <laughs> not human? Then what is she, an angel? Look, I'm serious. I suspect that she's half human, half animal. <laughs> Come on, I know she's a little strange, but you're saying she's a monster? Please let me explain. I have evidence. In the golf club, I found some mucus where she was standing. Later in the drain, I also found some more. After running some tests, the two substances turned out to be the same. Let me tell you a story. In 1837, a fossil was dug up in Canton. It was half human, half snake. Scientists at that time believed the fossil was from mating between a human and a snake. Therefore, a special team was set up. This special team had to try and find out how it had lived. Look, Canton is not that far from here. So anything is possible. It's still half human, you know. Listen, it has basic thought processes like animals, but it can learn very fast. And it's keen to learn. This is an advantage over human beings. And judging from the chemical changes in the mucus, I'm pretty certain that this thing was ovulating at the time. Therefore, it'll be looking around for the opposite sex to mate with. Next, she's having babies. I mean, lay eggs. And then these eggs can't be moved because they're delicate. She'll protect the eggs until the babies are born. So I suspect she'll have hidden them carefully in a dark, safe place. Then she'll leave until the babies break out of their shells and come into the world. Then she'll go back to collect her babies. Say, we better get away from here. Why? Was Lila here? What are you saying? I'm thinking of the loan sharks. They could come here for me. Oh, no. To be safe, I'd better move into a hotel. And you too. You should keep away from the office, just in case. Come on, let's go. Shall we pack a few things? Never mind, let's go. Ugh. 
memory fades with the advance of age. I nearly forgot that today's the mid-autumn festival. I just made it in time to buy the celebration stuff. Sit down. Are you hungry? I forgot your eggs are your favorite. Your mom must have eaten a lot of chickens when she was carrying you. Hey, hey! You can't eat the shells. Peel them. You're naughty. <laughs> and full of tricks. Charles, why do you hang these things? Gee, where have you come from? Haven't you heard of the Mid-Autumn Festival? Mm-mm. Okay. After we've eaten, let's go down to the beach. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are they doing? Boiling wax. I did that when I was a kid, but I quit after I grew up. <laughs> Let's do that now. Come on. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Can we join you? Yeah. Sure, sure. Sit down. Come on. Here. <laughs> hey, there you go. Hey, hey give him hey. some. Yeah. <laughs> Find a fire. Okay. Hey, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid. <laughs> hey, it's good, huh? Give me one. <laughs> Come on. Here, here they go. Watch it. Yo. There you go. There's for you. Hey. Whoa. Another two. Oh. Oh. Don't be afraid. Try that again. Stand back. All right. Here. This is for you. Where did you buy it? I just found it. <laughs> <laughs> so what about the surprise you have for me? Well, you mean all this isn't enough for you? Do you know how difficult it is to find a beach where we can boil wax? <laughs> what? But you didn't boil the wax yourself. Huh. You know, recently you have a lot to say. <laughs> Shall I shut up? Uh. I thought you were a mute before. <laughs> okay, you want a surprise? Close your eyes. <laughs> this is for you. This represents all the love I have. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Guess he's forgotten. Remind him. <laughs> Give him a drink. No. No, please. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. I don't want to chase after you, so you just tell me the truth. Can you pay me or not? Yes, yes, in a couple of days. A couple of days? You'll be dead in a couple of days! Ah! 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 
I'll pay it. I swear. Ah, my cousin, he's got a, a lot of money. He's all alone. When he's dead, then I'll get... I'll get when he's dead? Ah. Hey, if he lives another hundred years, does that mean I never get my money? I, ah. 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 I got it. I have an idea. I can pay. That sounds a bit better. All right. If you have an idea to get hold of some money, then you go do it now. I don't have much patience, huh? All thanks to you. If it weren't for you, I would have been stuck with the puzzle. Hey, is there a 10,000 piece puzzle? If so, I'll buy one. But you must help me. It's late. You should go to bed. Go on. Where would you like to go tomorrow? What do you think about Ocean Park? That's a nice place. Hmm? If you want to go there, you have to get up pretty early. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. How can I be sure that she likes me? If you want to, you can sleep here. Many times. I'll have your money anyway when you're dead.
I'm sorry. Yeah, that's all I have to do. I'm sorry. Sorry, I couldn't help you more. Who are you? Uh, officer, I'm Michael Chan. I got a call from the police about my cousin. What Let happened? Let him in. Come on. Right. Officer, what happened? I'm afraid we have some bad news for you. Your cousin is dead. My cousin is dead? How? It's under investigation. We found some medication which is for heart disease. So we suspect he probably died of a sudden heart attack. However, we can't confirm until we have the autopsy result. What else have you found? We checked. There's no sign of a break-in, and he had no apparent injuries. Frankly, he had heart problems. He shouldn't have lived here. It's too far from anywhere to get help. Were there other people in the house? Hey, but you're his cousin. You should know that better than me, huh? Well, since his wife died, I seldom saw him, you see. He's always been a loner. I had no idea until I got the call. I came straight over. The maidservant called us. She's his cleaning lady. We found some woman's clothes in the house. But maybe they were from his late wife. Hey, I'm supposed to ask you the questions. Well, after all, he was my cousin. I just wanted to know. Well, we're busy. You better go now, huh? Thanks, officer. Wait. Tomorrow, 2 p.m., can you come to the station and make a statement? Sure. Huh? What are you doing here? Charles is dead. I know. Such is life. I have nowhere to go. I can find you a place to stay. Can I stay with you? What? My place? Is it not convenient? Oh, no. There are cops here. We'll talk later. <laughs> scared I'm not but you know Charles just died it still feels a little bit strange you think I killed him no uh, of course not so what are your plans now I'm pregnant we'll see after the babies are born Then she'll be back to collect the babies. Uh, you know, maybe Charles uh, was the baby's father. You know, I've been very busy lately. And now I have to take care of Charles's funeral. But for now, you can stay here, okay? I don't mind. I'll go now. See you. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, if anyone comes here for me, don't open the door, okay? Bye. That's right, it's all fixed, Hank. Give me some time to clear things up. Yes, yes, I guarantee it. I promise you, I'll deliver the money myself, okay? Okay, yeah, okay. All right, bye. See you later. Mr. Chan and Mr. Ty to see you. Send them in. This is my card, Mr. Chan. Oh, please sit down, Mr. Tan. Thank you. Oh, so you're the one who's been taking care of our ancestral grave. I always thought a feng shui master would be quite an old guy. <laughs> in fact, I've just taken over from my father. I'm the 15th generation in this business. Oh, well, it's all the same. Uh, yes, it is. So, Mr. Tai, I've heard that a grave has been reserved for my cousin. So when can we bury him? 
Well, this is exactly the reason that I'm here today. Why? His grandfather bought that land. What's the problem? Mr. Cham, we call that grave the Crouching Dragon. Well, it was an excellent site. It was said that the descendants would all be very successful. But recently, the feng shui in the area has been changed. There's been reclamation, which caused floods in the surrounding area. It's had a domino effect, which saw the site sinking rapidly. The feng shui has been completely destroyed. So what are you saying? I mean the site is no good. Huh? Well, what makes you think I should believe you? Okay. I'll try and explain to you again. In the last few years, we've had bad earthquakes, especially in Taiwan. Yesterday, I went to the grave. I found it sunk by nearly six inches. This means there must be a fault under the ground. These faults can create numerous cracks. Your family has been buried there for many generations. It's like a huge store of corpses that's been feeding the rats and what have you. In time, the place will become a rat hole. Anyone buried there will be devoured by the rats in a few days. So how can their descendants be blessed? But don't worry. I found another site for you. It's great. It's called the Space Dragon, where you have a flying dragon. This means even earthquakes won't be a threat. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Space Dragon? Come on, be serious. <laughs> this is an IT world. Even Feng Shui must adapt. Now listen. Just tell me, how much do you want for the trade-in? For the Space Dragon? I'm sorry, no trade-in. The old one is no good, you know. It's worth nothing at all. But I'll give you a good price for Space Dragon, three fifty. Okay, never mind. We'll just carry on as planned before. Just bury my cousin in the same grave. But, Mr. Chan, that's a rat hole. It's okay. Just do it. If you say so. Mr. Chang, can we talk? Listen, it's not too late if you want to change your mind. I can take the coffin out and we can arrange for another burial. Are you serious? The guy's already six feet under. You must be kidding. Can we begin? Oh, of course. It's time. May your cousin rest in peace. Begin. Grab some sand and throw it in. Chan has been waiting for you, sir. Yeah. He's in the waiting room. Right. Ah! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Mr. Chan. <Charmer. laughs> I thought that our appointment was at 
<laughs> well, I finished early today, so I came on Sit down, sit down. Uh, regarding your cousin, I've got his file right here. Yes, this is it. Uh, well, basically, before Charles died, he never made a will. Now that he's suddenly passed away, so from a legal perspective, his living relatives will inherit in equal shares what he's left in his estate. Uh, now, uh, according to this, uh, let me see. Um, it seems uh, he, he has a cousin uh, right here. Yeah. Yes. And his name is... Uh, Michael Chan. Uh, yes, Michael and Chan. And I'm me. Oh, oh, <laughs> Mr. Chan. Now for the legal side, Mr. Chan, you're entitled to all the assets set down listed under Mr. Charles Wong's estate. How much is that? You're entitled to 100% of the shares in the Charles Wong Holding Company. Uh, how much is it worth? Uh, huh? <laughs> you see, Mr. Chan, as a matter of fact, Mr. Charles Wong, about two years ago, uh, had set up a trust fund with us. He transferred all the assets under the holding company into the trust fund. So the holding company is only a shell company from which he draws his monthly income. You understand? And he could only withdraw a maximum of 30000 per month. What does that mean? Uh, that means you can withdraw a maximum of 30000 per month. <laughs> Charles must have gone nuts. Oh, wait a minute! Oh. <laughs> uh, there's something else. It's the bar. But apparently, the bar is rented under his wife's name. <laughs> is rented? Yes. Uh, since it's not in his name, the bar's finances are totally independent. Before he died, he was two months behind in the rental which amounts to $240,000. And legally, you're now responsible for this debt, Mr. Chan. <laughs> of course, uh, you'll inherit all his assets as well as his debts. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Don't go yet, <laughs> Mr. Chan. There's something else. You see, Mr. Charles Wong had come to my office not long before he passed away and made a declaration. <laughs> and you are the sole beneficiary. So what's his is now yours, right? Therefore, I feel I should disclose this information to you. What is it? You see, Mr. Charles Wong had opened an account in a Swiss bank, which is worth one and a half million US dollars. And apparently, the PIN number for the account is etched on a sapphire pendant. So if you can get a hold of the pendant, that means you can get a hold of the money. I informed them that you shouldn't only make a declaration. It may not be enough for a legal document. Also, it may not stand up if there's any dispute over it. I advised him to make a will. But he said he left this money to a person unrelated to him. I couldn't talk him out of it. lied to me. He was with Lila. He has no idea that apart from his sixth sense, there is also a woman's intuition. A feeling derived from the love she has for a man. We must destroy that monster for Michael's sake. She doesn't belong in this world. I can't let her ruin another man.
Nico, where are you? I've been trying to find you. I had to come out and do some shopping. Listen, Lila is a snake monster. What? What's that? Where are you? I'm worried about you. I'm going to the graveyard. Graveyard? What are you going there for? Listen, you're going to love this. Very soon, I'm going to be a millionaire. What are you talking about? You're broke. Where'd you get that money from? From a pendant. If I can find it, then I'll collect 30 million. Pendant? What are you saying? I don't understand you. You wouldn't understand. I'll tell you later. Bye. Hello? Michael? Michael? <gasps> I must find a pendant. Forget it! Michael! Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm rich. I'm rich. Michael, get out of there. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> I found it. I found it. Ah! 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 You'll get hold of a lot of money, but it'll also bring you bad luck. What's up? Another nightmare? It was terrible. You've been working too hard. Go back to sleep. 